Hi, I'm futurist Thomas Fry. At first blush, the notion of a mechanical robot giving birth to a baby sounds preposterous. But many of the technologies we use today started out as preposterous ideas at one time or another. Every year we cross boundaries that never seemed crossable. We entertain theories that seemed ludicrous a decade earlier, and we create industries that were considered science fiction when we were growing up. Naturally, you're probably questioning the use of the term robot for something that's living, breathing, organic life form. Most of us have a preconceived notion of what a robot is and how it should act, but even our dictionaries leave the specifics far more open-ended. Over time, our thinking about mechanical machines will evolve from purely mechanical devices to hybrid mechanical organic contraptions to mostly living machines to pure synthetic life forms, and the process of building machines will be replaced by growing them. During this time, artificial intelligence will be replaced by degrees of synthetic intelligence, followed by what many consider a superior form of real intelligence. In much the same way, a living culture of sourdough is passed from one generation to the next. The living intelligence of one bot will be birthed into each new generation, building upon what is already known, exhibiting the same characteristics as humans, living, breathing, and growing from baby bots into biometric versions of ourselves, only with far fewer flaws. Well, hopefully, but that's where things get messy. When it comes to robots giving birth to baby robots, what can possibly go wrong? Please join in the discussion on my recent column, Will Future Robots Be Able to Give Birth to Their Own Children?